Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. We hold Bitcoin and we don't worry, we be happy. Sorry, I'm a little bit later today, but I need to bring my brother this morning at 5 to the airport and then I went to bed and slept another 2 hours and then woke up late. Guys, really cool video. I have, I think, about five charts, amazing charts that you really need to see. And they are exactly showing why you should not be freaking out at the moment. Yes, we are dropping to 44K, um, but why you should be zooming out. Let's take a look. The first chart is a This one. This one is the four hour chart and on Aurox platform. And this is Bitstamp. Let's see um, what the Bam Bam indicator said. Um, like you saw, we had this flag pattern and we should have been breaking out to the level of 51. And normally from this flag pattern, we didn't. So uh, we came back to retest and the retest even broke down all the way there. So that was like a really terrible flag pattern. Um, you could have taken a little bit profit, but again, we expected the profit to be higher. What is happening now? Bitcoin is falling all the way down. Did the Bam Bam indicator call that one as well? Uh, now, nah, the short flag was over there. The Bam Bam was crossing over there. The red line was on top over there. Here the yellow started and there was a red dot. So that one, two, three, four, five confirmations of taking the short at this candle, uh, one candle earlier there, and that would now be again a 6% short on the 4 hour chart. So yes, the BAM told you to sell over there or to short from that moment. Also really cool. Um, let's quickly jump into this chart because I really find, no, I found this tweet, Year of the Bull. I really like his uh, Twitter. Um, wave 1 finds his resistance at 0 0.618 level, the golden ratio. Wave 2 finds support near the Bitcoin halving. Wave 3 breaches above 2.618. Wave 4 finds support at 1.618. Wave 5 tops out multiples, multiples above wave 4. This tweet was completely in line with the charts that I've been drawing uh, of the fifth wave a couple of weeks already and this is the Fibonacci that uh, belongs to it so let's see if that was completely correct so wave one has resistance at 0 0.618 that's then wave two finds support somewhere around the halving which is this green line also correct. Three breaches above the 2.618 golden fib level finding resistance at the 3.6 level Eight. Yes, correct. Wave 4 will find support at 1.618, also correct at the moment, and wave 5 should be heading up all the way to whatever, 110, 120, 130, 140, 200, 300, we don't know yet, um, but these waves, like the way they count them, um, are pretty correct at the moment. Really cool chart. Okay. Do we have any other chart? Yes, this one, this is the daily chart. On the daily chart, you can see there was a golden cross. We are finding support on the 200 day moving average at the moment, which is around 44,900, uh, I think, somewhere like this, yeah, 45,000. We are finding support there, so let's see if we can keep support on the daily chart above the 200 day moving average i would prefer to see this line on the bottom here above the yellow one because that's the bullish periods above the 60 level but at the moment we are going downwards a little bit so we need to turn around in my opinion okay next chart bam gaussian channel again showing resistance at the top of the gaussian channel look all these candles they are going to the top and they are finding resistance this is really the level to break the 50k level before we can even go up further. So very important to keep track on that one. Bam! Zooming out to the weekly chart. Uh, this is the weekly chart on the BLX. Why shouldn't you freak out at the moment? Look, at the moment we are still finding support. Um, on this EMA ribbon and that is at that level of the 
43,000, I think, is the top line over there. Yeah, 43,000. We are finding support over there. The blue lines, these are not a projection of the future or prediction of the future. No, this is the lines that I copied from the 2013 move. Um, and if we would copy the 2013 move, blue, this one, then we would still fall even lower, maybe with this uh, next month somewhere here, the end of September, even fall to 38,000 before we explode in this huge run above the $170,000 level. $140,000, I should say, that's the top of the line. Um, but that is again, if we would copy 2013, if you would copy 2017, it would look a little bit different, but again, uh, you can see that even if we copy 2013, that one would find support on the bottom of that EMA ribbon at the moment. Um, that's why I'm not freaking out. We are still finding support on those levels that I would like to see support. Bam, over here. Um, and that is what we zoom out a little bit more to the monthly chart. Does that look bearish to you? In my opinion, a monthly chart with three candles, three green candles in a row, and this candle is going to close in 10 days, um, is not looking bearish. This is looking bullish to me. But we are finding support on this orange line that you can see over there. And that orange line is now at the level of 38,790. So we could even on the monthly fall to that level and still be bullish because as long as we stay above it, we are bullish. Three green candles in a row. Yes, this last green candle, that one needs to be every that opened 47,110. The high was 52,000. Um, so we should close above 47,110 to keep that candle beautifully green. Let's see, we still have 10 days left. Beautiful chart. Now, do we have anything else to tell you? Yes, we have some more stuff. Let's jump in the last two charts. This one, the D over here. Bam. Yes, this is the first one. The first one. Um, I just plucked this one off Twitter and I forgot to... I uh, forgot to make a screenshot of who posted it, uh, but all the credits to the one that posted it, maybe I can add it down below the video, um, but I really like it. Look, this one is looking at the RSI and how we move with the price in 2013. So from the peak, you know, we went down into July and then we got a yellow circle, which is the, uh, the mid of the bull market. And then you jumped out to the top of the bull market. In the RSI, you have the downtrend, then we broke out of that downtrend. Then you got the RSI consolidation phase, the yellow one over there. And then you get the markup and that markup that brings us to the top of the bull run. 2017 the same, RSI downtrend. We broke out of it, then we got consolidation, bam, then the markup. And that is the run up to the 20K uh, top in 2017 as well. And then now again, we look at 2021 and we have the RSI downtrend. We break out, we get that consolidation. Then we need to break out of the consolidation and you get the markup. So we are about here at the moment. If you compare with 2017 and 13, we still need to have that fifth wave, bam, over there above 100K and bam, maybe that fifth wave is going to start tomorrow and why tomorrow there is a fly irritating me in my ear oh my god idiot flies here i'm going to move to a big city um why tomorrow guys uh, this one i found a thing on will clemente but i've seen these charts many more times the full moon chart if we look to december here this moon cycle we go up at the bright moon we dump so here at this bright moon we dump at the dark moon here we go up and you can see the cycles so the cycle is between the dark and this brighter moon bam up here bam up here bam we went up here bam we went up here bam we went up and here again we went up and here again we went up now he is stating nah, i'm not saying that there is a correlation or there's coincidence but i'm just looking for patterns i'm saying there is no coincidence coincidence doesn't exist look every time if we reach the moment that the, that dark moon is coming here not like it is not a dark moon but i'm calling it darker because that one is lighter uh, we go up so tomorrow will be the full moon over there and if that will be that darkish moon we get this yellowish orange area again we would probably go up and maybe reach that 56 k whatever the level we want to reach guys that was enough of speculation today a lot of speculation a lot of analyzing but that's my daily update don't worry be happy zoom out don't freak out 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you well in the Netherlands. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to read, com uh, read your comments. Always remember, don't freak out about every single minute in the chat, but freak out of every single minute of the day, because that is what this life exactly is about. Thanks for watching. See you later today or tomorrow again in a new TE update in the morning. Bam! Yeah,